Good day, good day, good day, and peace be with you. Today's Monday, the 4th of March, 2024. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, we come to you once again because we serve a living God. Lord Father, we thank you for being with us throughout the weekend. We thank you, dear Lord Father, for protecting us. We thank you, dear Lord Father, for answered prayers, dear Lord Father. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And we praise you, Lord Father, and we thank you for still being with us, despite us sometimes, Lord Father, forgetting you in our radical and instantaneous ways. You are a faithful God. You are faithful to pursue our hearts, even when we are running away from you, Lord. Lord God, we have nowhere to go to. Today we are saying we acknowledge you, Father. We love you, Lord. And no matter what, we thank you for giving us the strength when we need it, Lord Father. We thank you for loving us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our reading for reflection today on Lent Day 17 continues from the book of Leviticus, chapter 3, verses 1 to 17. And the theme given to us to focus on today is a sacrifice of well-being. Beloved in Christ, let us listen to the word of the Lord. The Fellowship Offering If your offering is a fellowship offering and you offer an animal from the herd, whether male or female, you are to present before the Lord an animal without defect. You are to lay your hand on the head of your offering and slaughter it at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons, the priest, shall splash the blood against the sides of the altar. From the fellowship offering, you are to bring a food offering to the Lord, the internal organs and all the fat that is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them near the loins and the long lobe of the liver, which you will remove with the kidneys. Then Aaron's sons are to burn it on the altar, on top of the burnt offering that is lying on the burning wood. It is a food offering, an aroma pleasing to the Lord. If you offer an animal from the flock as a fellowship offering to the Lord, you are to offer a male or female without defect. If you offer a lamb, you are to present it before the Lord. Lay your hand on its head and slaughter it in front of the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons will splash its blood against the sides of the altar. From the fellowship offering, you are to bring a food offering to the Lord. It's fat, the entire fat tail cut off close to the backbone, the internal organs and all the fat that is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them near the loins and a long lobe of liver which you will remove with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as a food offering presented to the Lord. If your offering is a goat, you are to present it before the Lord. Lay your hand on its head and slaughter it in front of the tent of meeting. Then Aaron's sons shall splash its blood against the sides of the altar. From what you offer, you are presented this food offering to the Lord the internal organs and all the fat that is connected to them, both kidneys with the fat on them near the loins and the long lobe of the liver, which you will remove with the kidneys. The priest shall burn them on the altar as a food offering and a pleasing aroma. All the fat is the Lord's. This is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. Whenever you live, you must not eat any fat or any blood. Here ends our reading for today. Thanks be to God. It's the beginning of the working week. Remember to keep glorifying God and praising God and sharing his word and encouraging others to draw closer to God. Share the word of Lord. Share the love of God. Draw others to the peace in the Lord. Have a blessed day. Amen.